Hey creators, Doro here. Um, promise one of these days I'm going to take you for a walk around because I don't know how to do that yet, but that is one of my goals is to be able to, you know, do one of these cameras on a selfie stick and talk while you're walking. I'll figure it out and I'll take you for a walk, which I do every day or I work in the garden. I'll show you that too. So today I was working in the garden. Oh, first I got to tell you, we had a bear visit this morning. My brother's uh, bird feeder was uh, was kind of ripped apart. And and so, yeah, we've got plenty of bear around here, and they have become my, my neighbors, my totem, my um, friends. I uh, have not had an encounter with one, although they're here. They're everywhere. I see them often, uh, even when I'm going for a walk. But... So that was my uh, fun this morning, had another beer. Um, and then I went out to the garden um, and I was uh, gardening, talking to the plants. I kind of had this little encounter. Well, it wasn't an encounter. It was, a, it was kind of a discussion, I suppose, with, with the plants and the earth. And, I'm, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, you know, yanking all these beautiful green weeds, so-called weeds, you know, wood sorrel and all. And uh, I was almost in a, in a feeling apologetic and, and I just felt like, wait a minute, this is earth taking care of earth, right? Um, it's like taking care, I'm made of earth. We're all made of earth. We are made of water. We are made of earth. We are made of minerals. So why would there be any hesitation to, um, to not engage with her? I mean, she is us. So anyway, that was a hard to explain conversation, but I don't feel as guilty now. <laughs> so, you know, I used to be one of these, I want to be, I wish I wish I wanted to be a gardener or I want to want to be a gardener. Um, and so over the years, I've tried real hard to convince myself that I could do it. And most of the time for throughout the years, you know, it was such a chore. It's like, oh, oh, I've got to get out there and get the weeds under control. And, uh, you know, oh, here comes the tomato blight again. And I don't want to deal with it. And, and I'm trying to change my attitude towards this. And it's the more I'm just slowing down and opening up, the more I'm feeling like really this is the way we're supposed to be living. And um, it's not a chore. It's a, it's a dance. It's a dance. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit of exercise and, and work, but this is our true nature. <laughs> For me, that's my perspective. Um, you know, some people can think, no, our true nature is to be just infinitely innovative. Um, and I think that's part of the fun in life is to be innovative. But, you know, we're kind of losing track of the whole point. Um, so anyway, I've got a couple of great videos to share with you today. So the first one is Russell Brand's video he just put out today. And if you don't know who Russell Brand is, I highly suggest you check him out. He's based in the UK. He's a comedian by uh, trade and he has a channel that is very fast. I mean, it's funny. It's kind of outrageous, but he talks about what's going on in the world. And he is in this particular interview, um, interviewing Dr. Bernardo Kastrup who used to work with the CERN project in Switzerland. And, uh, and so this interview is basically why materialism is baloney. <laughs> and this guy, I guess he's an astrophysicist or something, but he's a real smart guy. And he gives this, um, he says, in essence, how nature works is not what nature is. And that kind of threw me for a loop until he gave a, 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 an example. He says, you take an a airline, you know, airplane console, you're sitting in the cockpit and you're 
looking at all of these dials and, and you know, switches and gauges. He says that's the plane knowing how to uh, steer itself. You could fly a plane without even windows, okay? So you could be completely encapsulated and blind and still see where you are through the, the gauges and, and the console, the panel. And so he says, what, what, how nature works, in other words, is like ex experimenting and examining and figuring out and creating all these instruments that tell us how nature works to the point where we can fly an airplane without even looking, he says, is not, is not at all how nature is. And we can see that, you know, reading a book is not the same as experiencing what the book is about. Um, so that, that's a very important, I think, um, thing to be considering because the media, all of the flat screens and radio stations or whatever, wherever we're getting our information, see, he, he says basically we could be flying an airplane blind which is fine as long as we have our control panel. But if somebody or something starts interfering with our control panel, then we don't know what's going on. We're blind. So um, he says, and I think Russell sort of is taking this in the direction of, uh, you know, how, how can we trust what's coming through our control panels, right? Our flat screens, our, our phones, our laptops, our television. The, the, all we have is our control panel here. And um, somebody could be manipulating it and we would never know it because <laughs> we're blind. We're flying blind. So I thought that was a very interesting sort of aha. Um, we don't know. The other um, video I wanted to share, which is almost seems unrelated, but I think is very related, is a video that my brother sent to me um, about this island in Greece, and it's called uh, Ikaria in Greece. The name of it is The Wonder List, and it's... Um, filmed by Bill Mayer. So I'll put that link below. Um, basically, this, this is what they call uh, one of the few blue zones in the world where people live, you know, into their hundreds as kind of a normal average thing. And they're healthy and productive right up until, you know, they quietly die in their sleep or something. Uh, there's no illness to speak of. Um, People are very, very healthy all their life. And this short video talks about what is the secret. And of course, it all turns out that people it's all about being needed by your community, feeling useful. You know, the, the elderly are not shuffled off to nursing homes. Um, the family need, says that we need you, please, you know, we need your wisdom. We need, you know, your help and, you know, so in this respect, that's what keeps people going is a healthy diet. They have a Mediterranean diet, low meat, um, and lots of veggies. Everything's homegrown. Nothing's packaged. Well, he does say that recently Western civilization is just now beginning to encroach and there's a, uh, a store now where you can buy potato chips and uh, whatever else, um, but it's only just beginning. So when you are being shown this place in this video, it's, it's like taking a walk back in time. And it's kind of the thing that I have in mind when I say community. So when I talk about community, it's not you know, going and it's like, you know, rulers or, you know, there's nobody running the show. It's just people living in proximity with extended families and slowing down and 
and feeling um, part of and valued. So they do, you don't see kids with, you know, uh, cell phones and video games and I'm sure it may all still be there, but you know, they don't engage so much in it. Perhaps because their lives are so fulfilling that they don't need to be distracted away from loneliness or stress or anything like that. So when I, when I talk about these things, that's kind of what I'm referring to is this uh, lifestyle of simple living, organic music, dances, festivals, um, helping neighbors, helping neighbors, you know, you, and, you know, picking out of your garden. That's your grocery store is your garden. And, uh, it's a beautiful video. So I'm sharing that. Um, and when I'm trying, when I'm, uh, talking about community and I want to talk about this other thing that Russell Brand is bringing up about materialism, you know, and, and we're being trained through our senses, uh, through these flat screens, whatever's coming at us, we're trying to absorb it. And some of it is completely unconscious, as, as this uh, Dr. Bernardo Castro points out. He said a lot of what's being conveyed uh, through flat screens is um, basically unconscious. And he, he didn't put it that way, I and I really shouldn't be putting words in his mouth, but that's kind of what I got out of it. Um, so we're asking ourselves, what, what have your senses been telling you? Um, my senses are telling me, and it'd be interesting to, to compare because we all have our own little echo chambers now, you know, so whatever information I'm being exposed to is because those are the clicks that I, you know, that shows my interests, what I'm following, what I'm watching. And it just keeps feeding me more of that uh, within, within um, a, a certain parameter. In other words, I'm, there is censorship going on. So they're feeding me what I'm used to looking at, but I'm not getting the whole picture. It's back to that control panel. Um, so... I find that fascinating. I, I am concerned. In fact, yesterday I was looking into going back to a dumb phone. Um, what was the name of there? There was a dumb phone that I record that I was making notes about. It's hopefully I have it here. No, I don't have it here, but it's called the Daisy and I forget who put it out, but it's a dumb phone. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, gosh, can I live without my GPS? Can I, live without all my little apps on my phone. The, the one that I would miss the most is the one that I take out um, walking with me and take pictures of plants that I don't recognize and then pull it through my app uh, that has plant recognition software in it. So, I mean, that's how I'm learning my plants around here. So anyway, our question is, um, what have your senses been telling you? Um, and I, I, I started to say, for me, my senses are telling me that the Dutch farmers and farmers around the world now, Australia and what have you, are uh, going through a lot of turmoil on strike and giving up their farms and walking out because of pressures coming down from above, um, rules, laws, regulations. That's something that I'm seeing, you know, and like I said, I have no idea of knowing if it's true or not any more than I can trust CNN or anything. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of unrest. Uh, certainly we have been through this with the truckers and they're not done yet. I'm, but, you know, when you look at farmers and truckers going on strike and, um, basically being restructured, uh, that's, uh, that's a big deal. That's transportation and food. Anyway, I've done a video about that before. So with, with this video, I'm just wanting us to really take a look at where 
our information is coming from? What is it that we are believing? Uh, can we be sure of what's going on? Think of that airplane with the panel. You know, if somebody's hacking into our dashboard, we are pretty much flying blind or we're being flown by something else. Uh, so there's that. The, the other thing is, is to continue thinking about and, and watch this cute video on, uh, on um, Icaria, Greece. It's, it looks like heaven to me. Um, that's what I'm envisioning for our potential future. I see that in maybe our next story that we want to tell. So with that, stay creative.